My boy, Benoit Saint Denis versus Thiago Moises. Benoit Saint Denis is a, a pure action fighter. There are some guys that are action fighters. We lost one with Korean Zombie. Uh, every once in a while, they come around. Justin Gaethje's one, uh, where no matter who they fight, it's going to be a banger. And we've now confirmed that Benoit Saint Denis is an action fighter. Blunderbub says the girlfriend loved the blood. Good cuts. Yep. Shout out to Blunderbub. Shout out to his girl in the one chat. Anytime someone gets bloodied, uh, <laughs> she, she jumps in the chat immediately and is all about it. Uh, the, I'm pretty sure the Just Bleed, maybe maybe they're related to the Just Bleed guy. Uh, HLB Comer says, we knew this was going to be a dogfight, and a dogfight it was. Yeah, Benoit Saint-Denis makes his UFC debut uh, two years ago, and he fights up a weight class on short notice and gets the absolute shit beat out of him. <laughs> but the entire time, it was a slugfest. He wasn't really doing much damage on his side, and everyone's like, man, this guy's kind of just like a human punching bag, tough as nails, but maybe not UFC level. And since then, he's had four fights, and he's finished all four of them. So maybe it was just short notice and at welterweight where he doesn't belong because uh, that was his only loss. He's now 12-1 and one after this fight. And Chiaco Moises, he's struggled a bit uh, lately, but... He's a very good benchmark, in my opinion. Um, if you could get past only only really good guys get past uh, Chago Moises. If you look at his losses, he's now seventeen and seven. But you know, we got uh, Ismagulov, we got Islam Mahachev, Joel Alvarez. Like he's very good, and he only loses to the, these guys who are clearly in that next kind of echelon. <laughs> but uh, I was a little worried. For Benoit Saint Denis, because he hadn't really beaten like a name yet, you know. Um, yeah, this is the biggest test by far. A lot of people thought the Bonfim fight. Um, we also don't really know how good Bonfim is. He looks very good, but we don't really know because he hasn't really fought enough. Um, but textbook Benoit Saint Denis, he he comes in, he just starts blasting that left kick uh, like he did against Bonfim. He's a sniper with that thing. He's so good with that body kick. Um, and then he just walked him down. Just kind of disregarded yeah, th- everything Moises had. I think the two things that like really affected this fight a lot were the fight, uh, were the fact that they were in France. Like, I think that crowd got in Moises' head where he just like, I think he felt like a villain. Cause like, as soon as he got in there, <laughs> he was throwing every single punch with like the intent of, I'm going to f- absolutely murder him. And every time he was whiffing so hard, his hand ended up in a different time zone. <laughs> yeah. and dude in the crowd like, they're all chanting like oh my god was it, insane. It all, between all the nut shots he was just sitting there like this <laughs> crowd is just in my head the whole time and they were yeah. so loud um and then the other thing is is like like you were saying like every single time he was hitting the body he was hitting it so flush it was insane the uh, we were talking about earlier how like some fighters like show markings and like mm-hmm. his body was pretty beat the fuck up throughout that fight yeah, and and uh, like Blunderbub says, Santini was just daring uh, Moises to hit him on the chin a few times, and Moises did. <laughs> there was a couple times. There's there's those fights where you're getting walked down, and it's like, dude, you need to land something big to just get the respect so they don't keep walking you down. And he landed those shots, but Benoit Santini. But he didn't, didn't get the care. respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the respect it didn't matter. He's like, dude, I've been, I went, I got beat up by a welterweight. There's nothing you can do that's gonna hurt me, basically. And. Yeah. Uh, H.B. Comer says the left hand was dropping, though. It got wild at times. And that's the one caveat in this fight that is like, look, like, like you said, H.B. Comer, if you beat Moises, you're going to be, you're in the top 15. You're, you can hang, you can hang in the top 15. Um, but that, that defense needs to get checked up a little bit because once you start breaking in that top 15, top 10 at lightweight, they're all killers. It's a bunch of murderers. And yeah. there's some things in here where, I mean, maybe it was the crowd hyping him up, but we've seen it in the past now. It's it's a little bit of a of a trend with Benoit Saint Denis that where he starts trading with you, and he just doesn't care what's coming back. And eventually, that catches up. Like you can't just keep doing that. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about all that. those misses. You can't expect all those misses to be misses all the time. Like exactly. at, at some point, you're gonna go against somebody like a a Sean O'Malley or a Stephen Thompson, where like th- those those swings are not misses anymore. They're connections. They're connections and. Look, some people have really good chins. 
things like that. Um, also, what a savage, dude. The guy's a pure yeah. gladiator. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not like you choose to get knocked out. You know? like Yeah. Like when you're walking into the fire like that and you're trading and you have to disregard for what's coming back at you and you're getting hit and you're like, yeah, I'm fine. I get, I get hit like this all the time. Eventually you don't and you have no control over that. So I would like a little bit more striking defense from him. Uh, ultimately, it didn't matter in this fight, but career wise, it will. Um, but for now, I mean, God damn, dude, this guy, match him up with another guy, get him on a pay-per-view. Uh, this dude is fucking fun to watch. He's so fun very fun fireworks yeah. every time fireworks and i want a flare bet on this one for on reddit so <laughs> shout out mma fan 100 there's this guy on reddit that uh every single like like uh general thread he's like commenting about do you think uh so-and-so would beat uh uh pre-iv ban rda like he always talks about <laughs> pre-iv ban rda about like this mythical fighter how like he was the best in the world the only person on the planet who could beat pre pre-iv ban rda was uh habib all this oh, constantly Lord. talking about him, and he picked Moises, and it was like, because uh, he was like, yeah, Benoit Saint Denis going to get fraud checked, like his win over Bonfim was a fluke, all this stuff, and I was like, all right, cool, I'll take that bet. If uh, if Benoit wins, then your uh, your flair's got to be pre IV ban RDA pound for pound most overrated, <laughs> and, and shout out Benoit Saint Denis, so that's going to be good to see. Uh, it should be Comer says, and the crowd, Paris audience delivered. Dude, there's something about these European crowds that they do the chance, you know, like uh, like the soccer chants. Yeah, and the whole time I was thinking dude, it was like this is like a soccer event. Yeah, and it's so cool, dude. It's so cool. Even they they took a break for a nut shot early in the fight, and the crowds yep. chanting like crazy. And it's like, but, man, like if you're not jumping, you're not French. That was awesome. Yeah, like why can't why is that such a European thing and not like why why can't American crowds do that? You know. Because we're so diversified that like we can't get behind a singular fighter. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like when it, even when like and it's Ameri- like a full American side versus like a full, let's say like Brazilian side or something like that, you'll always have like a mixed crowd in America that like want both of them to win. Whereas everybody in that entire stadium, regardless of who they actually liked, were like, oh, well, he's French. We're cheering for him today. Yeah. And the best we can do is the USA chant. And it fucking yeah. sucks. So it's garbage. So lame. So yeah, lame. we got nothing. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.